ರುಚಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹಾವಿಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಒಡನಾಟ ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ಹಾವನ ಅಟ್ಟದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ತಿದ್ರು ಅಂತಾನು ಏನೋ ಕೇಳ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ This happened to me very young when I went into the jungle. When I was 6-7 years of age, I, I could effortlessly pick up a snake. Oh. And they were nice to me, I was nice to them. Andre, you don't have to worry about it, Guruji. You don't have to worry about it. 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 So, snakes became very dear to me, simply because they are such exquisite beauty. <laughs> Another is, snakes have a very keen sense of knowing what's happening around them. Today we know that snake has a very profound perception. This is the re reason why you see Shiva is carrying a snake around his neck, not at his feet, at his just next to him, because it has a very profound perception of things. For example, a cobra which is in the Western Ghats, if you observe this cobra properly, if there is going to be, let's say, there is going to be an earthquake in California, almost on the other side of the planet, this cobra will start behaving in a certain way. Not on that day, at least five to seven days before, before it happens, the cobra behaves in a certain way and if you observe closely enough, you know an earthquake is coming. But where is it coming? Probably he knows, but I have not been able to know whether he knows. But he knows an earthquake is coming because he has such a deep perception. A, cob a cobra or a snake is essentially stone deaf, it has no ears. So, he is literally ear to the ground, his entire body, body yeah. works as a ear and he listens very carefully and he lives in a certain way. And above all, they are very sensitive to meditative energies. Later on when I started meditating in, in and around Mysore, if I sat down in an afternoon, if I sat there for five, six hours with eyes closed, when I opened my eyes, there would be eight, ten cobras just sitting right here, oh. just drawn to this. So, my relationship, with snakes, but particularly with cobras, became very profound. And I trekked across Western Ghats in Sirsi, Job, Kudremok, Kumar Parvat, that entire stretch, many times, wanting to catch a king cobra. But uh, I never did. Only recently, about four years ago, for the first time, I caught my first king cobra. <laughs> <laughs> But once it happened, I was lying on a rock. The rock was a wedge like this, just two feet wide. I was lying on this wedge. Huh. And then I see like this, I'm good with my right hand. I'm not very good with my left hand. When I say I'm good with my right hand, those days, now I'm not that quick anymore. If there is a provoke cobra like this, I would simply go and pick him up like that. But I'm lying down like this, Right next to me, a king cobra is going here slowly. <laughs> this has been my life's dream to catch a king cobra. <laughs> but he's right next to me, but my right, li my right hand is stuck here. My left hand, I'm thinking maybe I should risk it and catch, but uh, wisdom overruled that. <laughs> I didn't want to try with my left hand catching a king cobra. So my dream just passed right next to me, touching me, and just went away. <laughs> so... 